when these F1 females, which are heterozygous for these three traits, make ova, if crossing over does not occur, there will only be two types of X chromosomes that an ovum could possess. One half of the X chromosomes possess the wild type alleles for both uh, for yellow, white, and miniature. And therefore, any flies which receive this, which are male, will have this phenotype of being wild type for all three of these traits. They will have a tan body, red eyes, and normal length wings. Obviously, male flies have only one X chromosome that they receive from their mother. So if they only receive this wild type chromosome with these three wild type alleles, that will be their phenotype. In contrast, the other half of the ova will receive X chromosomes with three mutant alleles. Uh, the mutant allele for the yellow body color, for the white eyes, and for the miniature wings. And so these flies, if male, will possess only one X chromosome, and thus will express all three of these traits, and will be yellow, white. No crossing over occurs. This would be the only two phenotypes which could be observed in male flies of the F2 generation. Therefore, these phenotypes are referred to as the non-recombinant phenotypes. This is what the original uh, parent in the parental strain uh, possessed. And so therefore, the, um, when these are passed down, all of these alleles uh, still link to each other. Uh, this is the non-recombinant condition.